Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to test an electronic AGR valve on a 2014 Honda Civic. A broken or a clogged AGR valve will give you the following symptoms. Very rough idle or a short start but then the engine will stall. That will happen if the valve is stuck open and it allows the exhaust gases to go into the intake manifold unmeasured. Then you might get trouble codes like P04XX where the last two numbers can be anyone. And in that case, there might be a broken solenoid, an inaccurate potentiometer or even a leak in the exhaust at the point where it connects with the AGR valve line. So let's see first how this system works. The exhaust gases contains also nitrogen oxide, which are dangerous for the environment and therefore there is a small pipe coming from the exhaust going through the engine and before entering back into the intake manifold, it has to pass through the AGR valve which of course it's electronically controlled by the computer. It is obvious but also very important to mention that there is no need for an air pump to move the exhaust gases to the intake manifold since the exhaust gases comes out of the engine with high pressure and the intake manifold has a vacuum most of the time therefore sucking the air from the exhaust as long as the AGR valve is open. With that being said, now let's have a look at this electronic exhaust gas recirculation valve it's located on the lower part of the intake manifold on the passenger side. So with a 12 mm socket and an extension, I will undo these two bolts. And down here, you can see the valve itself. When the solenoid inside is energized with 12 volts, this little cap will open outwards. First, just unplug the connector and you'll find five wires with five pins with the key in the second position. Go ahead and turn your voltmeter to 20 volts, direct current. And on the connector, you will find five different colors as well. You've got the black, orange, gray, white and blue. First probe the black wire, which is going to be the ground. And the blue wire on the, on the sides, basically. And with the key in the second position, you should be able to see around 6 volts. That's because... The AGR valve does not need to be open when you start the car, otherwise the engine will stall because the engine is not running yet in closed loop, which means it doesn't use any oxygen sensors or any mass airflow sensors or any monitoring system. It's basically just warming up. So in that period, if you add that extra exhaust, extra air, the engine will stall because it's going to run extremely lean without much fuel. So therefore, you will not find 12 volts with the key in the second position. You just find like this half of power. The computer will do that just to control the valve. Next, you want to test the middle wire, the gray wire, which is going to be again the ground. But this time, this ground is going to be for the signal and the reference wire. This is similar with the map sensor or even with the throttle position sensor. So from the ground wire, the gray one in the middle, to the orange wire, you should be able to find 5 volts. This is going to be the signal wire, which is sended to check the position of the valve. And these 5 volts will go through the valve and it will come out to the computer through the white wire. Therefore, you will not find any voltage of this white wire because it's not powered yet. So in theory, if I back probe again the gray wire, the second ground wire and the white wire. Right now with the key on in the second position, I cannot read any voltage. But in the moment when I connect the AGR valve, it's going to read some voltage. That's because now the computer is reading the position of the valve. That 5 volts is going now through potentiometer and then through the white wire into the computer. If you read here 5 volts, uh, the gray and white wire, when the valve is closed, it means the potentiometer is bad and you probably have already a trouble code, so you will have to replace the AGR valve. So before bench testing, I'm going to mark on the connector on the solenoid on the AGR valve the position of the connector. So on this side, I've got the blue wire with the 12 volt input. So I'm going to make a white mark on the side down here. So now I know that this pin down here is the 12 volt input wire. So to make things easier, I draw here the wires and what they do, the color of them. All right, so in order to test it up, you will need a 12 volt battery. 
and a voltmeter with some alligator clips and a 12 volt battery as well you need some sort of alligator clips or, or some needle probes like these so i'm gonna go ahead and place my voltmeter on 200 ohms 2000 ohms and i'm gonna check between the ground and the 5 volt signal basically the gray and orange wire and we've got a resistance of 1358 ohms so let's see again with a stronger battery now you can see how much the valve should open that's like around one centimeter there we go so what i'm gonna do next to energize the solenoid and test the potentiometer in the same time so i'm going to connect the voltmeter with the ohms readings to the orange wire and the white wire which is the reference and 5 volt signal the valve is open the resistance has decreased but if i move the voltmeter and read from the gray wire to the white wire now when i apply 12 volts you should be able to see this resistance increase now it's maximum resistance basically it actually is not maximum but if i turn this maybe to 200,000 ohms you'll be able to read how much resistance is it you can see it gets to 3000 ohms you can see it gets to 3.7 thousand ohms with the valve open 3.7 thousand ohms with the valve closed 1.3 thousand ohms all right so again if you didn't follow up here is the results if you test the continuity from the ground to the reference when the solenoid is not energized you will find 1.3 thousand ohms when you energize the solenoid you've got 3.7 thousand ohms the resistance is increasing if you test from the 5 volt signal wire to the reference wire when the solenoid is opened it means when you energize the solenoid the resistance will decrease therefore allowing more current to pass through which makes sense so it's the opposite of the results from these wires now what will happen if you test the resistance from 5 volt signal wire to the ground to the middle one i know from theory that it will not change the resistance but let's test it up 4.6 thousand ohms now i'm gonna energize the solenoid you can see the solenoid is open and the resistance is exactly the same now it changed because i touch it here but it's not changing because of the solenoid. Also, it's worth to mention that this electronic AGR valve is much more durable compared to the one which is controlled by the solenoid and with vacuum, which has a rubber membrane inside and it often gets clogged up because the rubber attracts more the carbon. So yeah, anyway, that was it. I hope this information will be useful in your situation. If so, give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, take care so I can see you soon.